Hello, my name is Sharon. I started blogging in 2009. I blogged because Nissan was corrupt. If you Google the word Nissan whistleblower, you're gonna see and do an image search, you're gonna see my picture. Because I said Carlos Gowan and Greg Kelly were corrupt. And I knew they were. I was a relocation consultant for Carlos Tavares and I told him about a lot of issues. Mr. Tavares has proven to be a decent guy and now he's gonna lead Chrysler. But I told him about issues about Greg Kelly, about discrimination, about fraud, about a good old boy network. I've got emails that can prove it. I have emails to Greg telling him that people that work for him weren't too nice to me. And I was his wife's tennis partner. Yes, I was D. Kelly's tennis partner. And you want to know something? People have asked me what I think about Greg Kelly. And I always said I want him to rot in hell because my marriage ended. My life was disheveled. I was almost homeless. I lost custody of my child. I lost a lot because of Greg Kelly. And now I'm gonna do something totally weird. I am, my, here is a, um, here's Greg. Here's a picture of Greg. And then here's a picture of me with Dee Kelly, his wife. She's the one that goes on that video, go, oh, I'm so sad, I'm so sad. Well, you want to know something? D, I do not like how I was abused. I don't like what you've done to my life. But you know what? I'm not a bad person. And I am compassionate. And I think at this point, Greg has been through enough. I think you need to come home. I think you need to be with your children. And I'm going to reach out to the Japanese government and say, fuck it. You let Carlos go and go to Lebanon. Don't just let the American sit in Japan with the coronavirus going on. You know what? The world needs to have closure and have peace. We need to all get along. Okay? D, I'm really mad at you. I am so mad because my life has been hell for 10 years because of you, D. Kelly. And now I'm going to use all my anger and turn it in to helping you get your husband back to America, to helping you get your kid's father back into your home, okay? You know why? Because I want to sleep at night. I have been estranged for so many years because people thought I was crazy for saying that Nissan was corrupt, that Carlos Ghosn was corrupt and sleazy, and that Greg Kelly led a good old boy network full of corrupt people like Marlon Stout, I mean, Marlon Chapman, Mark Stout, Oh, I could give a long list. I could talk about all the corruption that I exposed in Tennessee that's been proven to be real and FBI agents have told me is real. But you know what? I'm 54 turning 55 and I want to have a good life. So D. Kelly, Nissan, oh, Nissan, if you think you're going to get any money when we have to do all these bailouts because of the recession, you ain't getting a dime. I vote Nissan for the Japanese car company that's most likely to go BK. Because let me tell you something, Nissan has been proven to be a bad steward of American taxpayer money. So I think Nissan going bankrupt is enough punishment for Greg Kelly and for the humiliation that he's faced and that he had to plead guilty to the SEC stuff. Oh, yeah, I met with SEC lawyers. Nobody wanted somebody with a CIA background, you know, testifying. Nobody wants me to speak. So that's why I make these funky videos. I mean, Greg Kelly, you fucked up my life. But now I'm going to help you get your life back. And then I'm going to work on my life. I'm going to work on getting some decent health insurance because I don't have that. And I'm gonna learn how to do yoga and garden and have a good life. And I hope, Mr. Kelly, your kids are gonna be able to sleep at night with their dad back in America. D, you did a lot of really good things for me. When I had pancreatitis, you made tacos. I remember you made me these bowls of the meat and the lettuce and the, I mean, you know, D, before you destroyed my life, you were a really good friend. And you were a really good friend to Shelly and Wanda and Michelle and all these people. You were, I'm thinking about the good things that D. Kelly has done. And D. Kelly had done some pretty damn good things. 
and um, Greg Kelly was at my 40th birthday party and we did jello shots and it was 80s theme and he was there with I forget Wanda's husband's name but oh Wanda sent me a whacked email yeah I, I kind of or whacked message through Facebook I just I'm gonna put it in my book but don't worry I'll delete her name oh yeah I'm writing a book but you know what the end of my book is about compassion it's about closure and I think Greg Kelly needs to come home and I was told the Japanese government needs to prove a point with Carlos going fleeing. And you know what? D, as much as I hate you, I still love some of the things that you did for me back before I whistle blew. And Greg, if I can say anything to you, it would be if that good old boy network that you led with Mark Stout, Marlon Chapman, Scott Becker, you know, if they could all just kind of retire gracefully, oh, which they will when Nissan goes bankrupt. You know what? I think karma spelled with a C is justice. I just want closure. I want my kid back in my life. I want... My ex-husband to know that I was really abused because I really did whistle blow about something real. But at the end of the day, I think Greg Kelly's had enough. I think the world's had enough. We need to focus on this pandemic and we need to unite. So Greg Kelly, I'm living in Florida. Just you don't come to Central Florida and I'll stay out of your part of Florida. Okay? And I wish you well. D. Good luck. Get your husband back to America. I will go to the Japanese embassy and I will do my part to try to bring you home. Take care.